Thanks for calling in. Lisa Wynn is on the uh, online, boys. Head of marketing for Coca-Cola. Andrew McLaren, I pass to you. The new Coke, no sugar. Wow. Oh. But it's been around before. And it's been called Zero. And Darren, I pass to you. A bigger bottle, man size. Man size, <laughs> thank you. Well, how about Lisa, that? good afternoon. Oh, good afternoon. We're about to... We are just take. Oh, yeah. No sugar, that? it says on the label. No sugar, but the same taste. Really? Is that the claim, Lisa? Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's kind of the closest we've ever got to having a, a recipe or taste that's as close to Coke Classic, but uh, with no sugar. Well, mm. I can say well done because Ooh, I've just worked. had a sip and it's very good. And you know, Lisa, Andrew McLaren was late for his on-air performance today because he was in the canteen getting himself a bottle of regular Coke, Coca-Cola. Regular. Oh. And would you believe? And Dennis warned me and said, "Don't, don't. There's something coming up." But it was a surprise, and I wouldn't listen to him. And you know what, Lisa? He is so mean with money. He'll be thinking of how much that cost him from the vending machine. <laughs> no, now, and he could have, he could have had a freebie. Um, how long has this been in the making? Oh, look, it's probably been five years of, of kind of hard graft working um, out in our sort of uh, the home of Co Collins in Atlanta, um, and the team there has been. Busy sort of trying to perfect different recipes, different flavour combinations to get to the point where we finally, finally really think we've cracked it. Well, I think, I think you have. Can I ask the obvious? If there's no sugar, what makes it sweet? Yeah, well, it's actually, if you think about sort of Diet Coke or Coke Zero, it's the same um, sugar alternative or, or, or non sugar um, as those products. But what's really different about it is just the, the flavour profile to try to give that sort of more. I guess that sort of full body hit that you get, a full body taste you get from Coke Classic, it sort of really replicates that. Lisa, it is really good. It's well a done. good drop. I'm calling this, I'm going to call this the Rothschild of Colas. <laughs> Lisa, he's a Dr. Pepper's man. Do you know uh, well, Dr. I, Pepper? Until five minutes ago, Lisa. Ah. Oh, very good. No, yeah. very good. Well, it's, it's been a huge hit in, in, uh, in our offices here. Um, just started getting it in our fridges, and I must admit, we can't, but we can't um, keep the fridges full. Everyone in the office right. is trying it. And uh, it am it's I right in saying, just going back historically, if I may here, a little, Australia never dabbled in the chaos of new Coke back in the 80s, did it? No, no, we we, uh, we 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 dodged that one. Um, but yes, yeah, you dodged that bullet. Some... Yes. <laughs> uh, Lisa, uh, Vicky's rung in. She's got a question for you. Hi, Vicky. Oh, hi, Dennis. Hi, Lisa. Um, my daughter has a lot of allergies, and she's allergic to the sweetener that's in Diet Coke, but not the one in Zero. Now, is it true that the new Zero, or whatever you call it, no is sugar. going to have the same sweetener as the Diet Coke? It's the same as Coca-Cola Zero, um, so it, 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 there should be no difference in that sweetener as Coca-Cola uh, Zero. Um, so, yes, so if, she, if she is OK to drink Coca-Cola Zero, um, it should, it's just a flavour change. So, so the new product, I'm, I'm sure she, she'll love it. Is it. Does it have caffeine in it? Yeah, caffeine. Um, you know, we have sort of uh, caffeine similar to all the rest of the Coca-Cola range, so no, no difference. Um, and, and so, yeah, that, that's the same as all the others. Lisa, I, is, oh, excuse me, just one more, if I may, oh. Dennis, because, no, this is a hell of a topic. It's a bit of a change mm. uh, for us to have something like this. Well, it got you off history, yes. Well, uh, <laughs> well, getting back to the Easter Island statues in just a moment, though. <laughs> uh, Lisa, if you want to switch over at the office there. Uh, but, Lisa... <laughs> Get to um, the question, will you? Are, you? are you going to put it out in this cute little bottle that I'm holding in my hand right now? Yeah, absolutely. Actually, I think you've you've probably got the little the two fifty um, yeah, ml has. bottle. Yeah, yeah, that's it's definitely going out in that. So it's going in all the normal pack sizes. So uh, we then launched the, that that small bottle about oh, about sort of six months ago. Um, it's doing well. So be in the small packs, the big packs, uh, the cans, uh, even in even in um, the sort of fountain product, the one you, you get when you go into sort of McDonald's and yeah. sort of across the whole range. Well, Lisa, I have never been a big Coke drinker, but uh, all I can say, all in favour, say aye. Aye. Aye, aye. sir. Well, I haven't, had, I haven't had a coffee since January the 1st, and I've just got through half of my 600 mil. I'm wide, man, on the caffeine. <laughs> Good on you, Lisa. Uh, wide. <laughs>